Every human being has different habits and they work accordingly. Whatever we do in our day-to-day -day life becomes our daily routine. Day and night we need food to sustain. In Malaysia we can find various type of food with different flavors, colors, and texture. The availability of food is unlimited, we can get almost any various type of food in different cultures. The joy of being to sit at a place with friends and family and talk about everything under the sky it gives you a nice feeling. Rats have become a serious problem since they are reservoirs of leptospirosis and other vector-borne diseases. The number of mortality and infections is increasing rapidly as more humans are exposed to rat urine and droppings. Leptospirosis it is a potentially deadly bacterial infection. Yes, it is a virus. How it infects is through surrounding, uh, surrounding things. Nah. Like, you, because when you see when the dog go and urine to that place, nah, the other animals like small, small, like cockroach and rat and everything goes near it. So, sometimes our stray dogs will spread it to outside people. But if house dogs, it will spray, it will spray to the house people. Sometimes even in the house got rats, the rats go and urine and then from there the infection starts. People can get infected through skin contact with food material which containing the urine, the splashing of contaminated water into the eyes or nose and exposing open wounds to infected water. So far, there are no records of human-to-human -human transmission. It was five months ago, I saw her coming back to work after disappearing for two weeks. For, from what I observe, her face was pale and she was vomiting frequently. She later explained to me that she had food poisoning and was admitted in Sanda B Medical Center. She even showed me her medical report and it was stated that she was diagnosed with leptospirosis, which she later explained that it is caused by red urine in the food that she had consumed. From what I understand, at the early stages of her sickness, she had fever. Her skin became quite pale and she had rashes on it. The symptoms of a sickness is similar to food poisoning but it is more serious. The medication she received was antibiotics, painkiller and some purge tablets to clean her body system. The population of rats in Malaysia has grown into a serious problem for cities and residential areas. This phenomena brings alarming rise in diseases of rat leptospirosis, commonly known as rat urine disease. This highly infectious bacterial disease spreads via the urine of infected rats and causes death in severe cases. The Health Ministry's Disease Control Division recorded 3,665 leptospirosis cases last year, a whopping 85.5% increase from the 1,976 cases recorded in 2010, with 69 deaths. In 2011, there were 2,268 cases with 55 deaths. Dr. Eric Nilas from the World Health Organization says leptospirosis can be spread whilst walking in pools of water or mud that are contaminated by the urine of animals. He says although it can be contracted from one person to another, but the situation is exceedingly unusual. Call it the red uh, nest. Red nest means is a, that area must be a dirty area, very. Uh, sometimes is at a campsite. If the camp is too long, not uh, clean, not not properly clean, you know, uh, or is that certain uh, even certain areas, uh, hawker center, that it can be. If it is a lot of rat in that area, it can also cause uh, leptospirosis in that area. So, so we are very concerned about this. No, from time to time, we have, we have been, we have direct them 
to uh, to investigate all the area and inform uh, the state, and the state would inform uh, our headquarters on on the whereabouts of all these uh, all these uh, areas. Lah. As we know, rats is everywhere. Is is it leptospirosis? Is not only from rat. Mainly is from rat, uh, but it also can be from other animal. You know. So far, how many patients do you have seen treatment in the government hospital? We don't have accumulated figures, but on and off there are there are there are people uh, fall ill due to leptospirosis. In health-wise, actually this one is caused by people surrounding. They should be keeping their premises, their houses, surrounding gardens clean. Off and on, like two weeks time, like people say you have to kotong royang and all that. Actually, you have to do that. That is the best play. That's the best thing to do lah to prevent all this bacteria and this virus. Leptospirosis continues to be a major public health challenge in many countries. There is still a lot that is unknown about this disease and there is much scope and opportunity for good quality leptospirosis research in Malaysia. There is a need to increase awareness among physicians of this infection as there is still much under-diagnosis of the condition. Improved laboratory tests should be developed to make conformation of the infection more rapid and easier. There is definitely also a need for an effective vaccine for humans.